do you enjoy watching your work back ever? Do you do you ever? I'm very subjective about it. I must be honest, and I, I tend to see only myself, and I think, why the hell did you choose to do that <laughs> that way, or why did you say that line like that? But it's all too late, so you just have to live with the shame. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, a career like yours, I don't think anyone would look at it and say, well, this is not a career that, that just you didn't excel in, in everything. I mean, you know, you, you, you well, won... they have. You won every <laughs> award possible. Well, not quite, but, I mean, they don't make any better anyway. I mean, they're very nice to have, but they don't make you better. But um, I've been very, very lucky, actually, because I've not only worked with marvellous people, I've been fortunate enough to work in marvellous work as well, scripts. Uh, you know, you just said the awards don't make you any better, but you won two Oscars. And, but you weren't there at the ceremony to accept either of them, were you? I was fortunately working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would you have gone there if you weren't? No. no. <laughs> I'm not good at that kind of thing. And also, I mean, my mother, who had all the awards that I got, she put them on her sideboard in the living room and polished the Oscars within an inch of their life. Yeah. And in a very short space of time, the thin layer of gold disappears and it's base metal underneath, and I think that's a rather neat analogy, actually. <laughs> <laughs> she must have been tremendously proud of you, though. Well, if she was, she managed to hide it. <laughs> <laughs> it's surely her keeping the awards and polishing them, that must Oh, have yeah, been. yeah, that, but she did have three other daughters, so, you know, she had a lot of um, loving to do. <laughs> <laughs>